my lords and my ladies of the world of people, most respectfully and most humbly and with the deepest reverence for the great and precious American saint, Abraham Lincoln. I shall translate in the modern semantic of the hip, this new zigzag semantic, his beloved Gettysburg Address. Lincoln himself, a great lover of humor and beauty, would understand and condone, I'm certain, this prelude to the address. Now let me hip you cats and kitties just how the scene went down, dig. Every cat that swings with the rhythm of love of life has some certain cat that he dig more than he does the next cat. Now you see that cat over there by the tree? Well, he's a G.O.T. Washington cat. He digs duck in the flow and stomp in the wall. But the uh, cat next to him, he's a Benny Franklin cat. He digs watching his cash and cool in his stash. And the cat right next to him with a feather in his hat, he's an Eisenhower kitty. He digs, let's not play the fool and lose the cool. But that pretty chick right next to him with the violet eyes and the crazy look, she's a Sinatra chick. She digs, sweet rhythm swings the world. But me, I'm a Lincoln cat. I dig old sweet, long, lanky, non-stop Abe. Lanky Link, to call a cat back in them days. A Lanky Link went to a speechifying one time and had a little misunderstanding. There's an LP talking cat there by the name of Eddie Everett. And this here cat got up on the podium and wailed away and beat on his chops for so long and so loud they had to shave the place 27 times, rearrange it nine, and adjust it twice, and the cat is still up there beating on his chops, and Lanky Link is sitting down the bleachers goofing with his scratch pad trying to get something down. And he's getting something down. But uh, what he's getting down ain't moving him. But when they call old Lanky Link up to the podium and he dug all them cats and kitties swinging on the green sward, great love look come on his saint face and he put this issue down to me, say, four big hits and seven leagues ago, our before daddy swung forth upon this sweet, groovy land. A swinging, stomping, jumping, blowing, wailing new nation. Hip to the cool groove of liberty and solid scent with the ace lick. And all the studs, chicks, cats, and kitties, red, white, all blue, is created level in front. In state talk the same, dig what I mean? Now we are hung with a king-sized main day civil drag. Sounding of whether that nation or any up there nation dig so hipped and so solid scent can stay with it all the way we's here to dig this chop beaten session on the site of the ways jazz blown in the entire issue get his mother boy we have stomped out here to turn on a small soil stash of the before-mentioned hassle site as a finer, sweet, sod pad for those who laid it down and left it there so that this jumping happy beat might blow forevermore. And we all did that this is the straightest lick era pet. But digging it harder from afar, we cannot take no wailing bows. We cannot meddle. We cannot put down the stamp of the nares on this sweet sod. 
Cause the strong non-stop studs Both digging it and dug under it Who hassled here Have mellowed it with such a wild mad beat That we can hear it But we can't touch it Now the world cats will short dig. You hear what I say, short dig. Not long stash in their wigs, what we is beating our chops around chair. But it can never successfully shade what they vanced here. It is for us the swinging to pick up the dues of these fine studs who cut out here and fly it through to Ensville. It is hipper for us to be signified to the glorious gig that we can't miss with all these bulging eyes, that from all these a stamp studs we double our love kick to that righteous ride for which these cats had sounded the last inth bong of the bell of the bell that we here wanted struck up straight for all to dig that these departed studs shall not have split in vain that this nation under the great swinging nas shall room up a whop of endless Mardi Gras and that the big law of you states by you studs and for you kiddies shall not be scratched from the big race. And that's why I'm a Lincoln cat. Mm-hmm. 